Good afternoon, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, is it love or infatuation? I think it's fairly safe to say when you first meet somebody that it's a lustful attraction. When you're sexually drawn to somebody and you have that chemistry with someone, it's definitely a lustful feeling that you're having with this person. There's nothing wrong with that, but it can confuse you. And if you're finding that a lot of your dates maybe only go to three or four dates or you end up in a relationship for one to three months, that's usually when it's a purely lustful situation. Because when you fall in love with somebody, you want to see them a lot. You want to get to know them better. You want to spend the quality time with them. It's not just always about jumping in the sack with them. That's kind of the first clue that it's more of an infatuation with somebody is when you're both sort of sexually drawn to one another and that seems to be the main priority between you both. Sometimes it can happen where one person is starting to fall in love and the other one's still in the infatuation, lustful stage. Sometimes they never get past that. Love grows. I really believe some people can fall in love right away. I still personally believe that is more infatuation that turns into love and absolutely it has to be there you have to have that that those pheromones with somebody that are a, a big chemistry if you're going to move into a loving long-term partnership with them but the difference is understanding what you're getting out of this relationship with this person. If you're trying to figure out if they're just there because they're infatuated with you, pay attention to what they do. Are they talking about future with you? Are you doing things that a couple would do? Are you spending most of your time in bed with them? It does all your dates revolve around staying home and ending up in the bedroom. These are things that you can figure out pretty early on when you first meet somebody. Because when somebody's really enthralled with you, they want to take you out. They want to have fun with you. They want to show you off. They want to enjoy their time outside of the home as well as inside of the home. So pay close attention to that. Don't get stuck in these one to three month situations because you're not listening to yourself. You know if they're there because they want something more or if they're there just in a sexual sense. It doesn't take a lot to figure out. So don't try and lie to yourself that there's more going on than there is. There isn't. Because that's why a lot of people get sort of jaded about dating. Slow it down. Like that's another thing. I think people go in so fast because there's that chemistry. They jump in and everything moves so fast. And then when reality actually does hit, you know, come out and you're saying to yourself, okay, well, we've been together now for a couple of months. And then all of a sudden it starts to fizzle because you realize you don't really have that substance within what you're trying to grow together because it's not growing. That's the operative word. It's staying stagnant and it's the same thing over and over again. It's a sexual lust that you're having with each other. And that is not good enough if you want to move forward and have a committed relationship with somebody. Because a lot of the times when it's only based on sex, it fizzles. Because you have one bad day or one day maybe the sex isn't as great and you've re relied, this the whole relationship is based on that, that enjoyment. And if it, all of a sudden it starts to kind of dwindle a little bit, then you have nothing left to, to stand on. When you're dating and getting to know people, you have to take your time. Don't allow it to be this whirlwind sexual situation. Get Even if it's starting to go that way and you're really drawn to it, pull yourself back. Don't see them all the time. Let it have a chance to grow and blossom. There's nothing wrong with you setting the pace on how fast things go. I know it's hard sometimes when you have that really powerful chemistry. But if you want to see if you can have a true relationship with them, don't allow it to become this repetitive one to three month scenario. Because all that's happening every single time is you're letting the lustful side take over. If you want to grow any situation into a potential partnership, 
you have to be able to look at it clearly. And the way you have clarity is stepping out, not being with them constantly and looking in saying, okay, I really enjoy my time with them, but I need to also live my life and have my, put my energy into other things as well. And then when we come back together, I'm clearer. I'm not just focused on the sexual part of what I have with them. So take charge of pacing the relationship to find out whether it's going to be continuing to be a lustful scenario or whether an infatuation or whether you have the chance to prolong this situation into a potential committed relationship with somebody. Always pay attention to any patterns that are coming into your life that are causing you a bit of drama, causing you any kind of sadness. Stop, take some time, look inward and say to yourself, okay, what is going on here? Why is this continuing to happen to me? Because I'm allowing it. So just change it up a little bit. Be in charge of how it progresses. Don't let them say to you, I'm coming over at 10 o'clock tonight. I'll be there. I'll see you in a couple of days at eight o'clock and you never leave the house and you just have this euphoric, amazing, lustful connection. You can still have that with someone you love, but you have to take your time getting there. Then you trust that it's a real relationship. Thanks so much once again for tuning into Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe. I love it when you do. And please click like and leave any comments below. Thanks so much, everyone.